Ogeneni of uh, Uzware, His Royal Highness Alaji Imonike Kadiri Omogbai for has conferred Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki with the Onoshiorena of Uzware, the one God has crowned chieftaincy title in recognition of the role of God in the affairs of the governor. Also installed was the Deputy Governor Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu, who is now the Ushuzekai, meaning it is God that chooses of Uzuari clan in Esako West local government area of Edo State. The clan consists of over 20 villages, namely Jatu, Iyamo, that is Adams Oshumoles village, Afowa, Elele, Iyamo, Ogbido, Uluoke, Ayo, Gena, and Ayua. Others are Iyuku, Imeke, Afashio, Iyora, Akpano, Imonike, Yewa, Ozo, Ikabigo, Idato, Ugbeno, Irepai, and Ayo Gwiri. The event took place on Thursday during the governor's visit to the traditional ruler at his palace as part of the People's Democratic Party PDP's campaign rally in Edo North Senatorial District. Hmm. Well, this is a welcome development because it's going to boost their morale, it's going to boost their votes as well. If the monarch has a influence on the people, if the if the monarch will be able to convince them that oh, this is the reason why you guys need to vote for this man, he has done X Y Z for us in the past, or he has done this, or he's still doing this, you know, if people if the people now feel that oh really the monarch is saying, uh, you know, it's making sense, they will want to look into it, but not the monarchs that must have gone to collect, you know. Must have been induced because that is what has been playing out in our politics. Because most of these monarchs are being induced, and they will go and tell their people, ah, this and that. Of course, in this age and at this age and time or in this era, nobody can force anybody to do anything. People will, should be able to uh, should be convinced enough to be able to say yes, we want to uh, re-elect this man into office, not because of what people are saying. You as a person, you must determine that in your heart. You need to be selfish. But I don't think that uh, usually work because we always encourage people to be selfish because people will now say that, say that, okay, in the past, what have I gained? Even still in the present administration, what have, now, what have I gained or what has the community gained? If they have gained something, then it will be easier for the monarch to be able to tell the people to say, oh, vote for this man. But from his own angle, he just believes that uh, God has been having an affair in the... In the in the lives of the governor and the deputy, and you know they've been giving chieftaincy title. But another question is that with the chieftaincy title translate to votes, that is a, a a big one, a big question to be answered. Well, whether it, that is how it rolls, maybe it has many, or it's it will make it will yield positive results, you know, into voting voting him for the second term. And also, uh, you know, some of the villages under that uh, particular local government area, you know, Oshomole's uh, village, you know, is part of it. So the man controlling that area is the one who has conferred, uh, who has conferred this chief taxi title on both the governor and the deputy. And I think I was hearing sometime that, uh, oh, the governor cannot go to Oshomole's village. He cannot do this. He cannot go there to campaign. I don't know whether this one is different from it, but at least from what we have here, hey, Iyamo is a Oshomoles a village, and and the village is under that same local government where the um, monarch is controlling, if I'm not mistaken. Well, like I said, whether this a chieftaincy title will, uh, will translate to votes, it's a different ball game entirely. And from what we have heard from other monarchs, because they've been going from places to places to visit all this, all the monarchs. And one of the monarchs they visit, visited recently, I think uh, this week, and he was giving a testimony of what the governor has done. But these people did not tell us what the governor has done, but they just feel that God has been in, has been showing forth in the affairs of the governor. I mean, that's why they are in, uh, conferring that uh, title on him. But from one of the monarchs who spoke before now, they said, oh, the man said, yes, that they have reason to be able to vote in the governor, because before now, they were cut off from the state. Within the state, they were cut off from the state. They could not even relate to the people in the state because of bad roads. 
and it was there for how many years? I don't know if I remember vividly whether I said 1,000 years, which I don't want to uh, quote wrongly, but it says something like that, that when the governor came in, he was able to do the road for them, and which they've been agitating for a very, very long time. So because of that, that if, if not because of anything, but because of that, they promise him that he's going to do, that they are going to vote him in for the second time. You know, that's a testimony of what the governor has done. And just like I said, uh, a rumor, a rumor has been going around that, uh, oh, uh, Obaseki cannot go to Humoles village, this and this and that. I think it's part of the village that he went to. And there's this man, this uh, Luke man, I think it's Luke man, he's in APC. Whether he's a secretary or what, I don't even know the position he's holding. I don't know why the guy has been against uh, Oshomole. He's been against Oshomole. And recently the man uh, said that uh, if, uh, the election, Edo election should not be, it's not a do or die affair. And he's been saying that Oshomole should not even be part of the campaign team that will, that will campaign for this man, Izzy Yamu. Because, you know, even at that level, there are a lot of things. But people will still say, tell you that it's because of a uh, Obaseki. It's Obaseki that is bringing confusion here and there. And I don't think it was Obaseki that uh, made Oshomole had problem with Zamfara. Even in River State, in Imo State, you know the the, the quarrel between Rocha Zokorocha with and uh, Oshomole. <laughs> it's lingered for a very long time. Like it was really a heavy one. And don't forget that I don't think uh, the two of them have a good rapport. So. I don't know how people are going to still like him with, uh, or relate that to Obaseki, whether Obaseki is the one that causes it. So Shumole really needs, needs to be careful. Really needs to be careful. Shumole, you know, people really love him, but I don't know now whether people still love him. But with the event or with the things happening again now, you know, uh, people, I think people, uh, mindsets are beginning to change towards that. But anything can happen. Politicians, don't forget that permanent interest is what they are all about forget all this uh, talk here and uh, they can abuse themselves they can abuse their mother they can abuse their father but when it comes to that uh, interest uh, hey, you know where the interest lies the interest is all about money we should know we're not going to sit down here and begin to say what is not well that being said congratulations to the governor the uh, okay i will reserve my comments after 19 september election i pray god and man to make it happen the Ogeneni of, of what should have given this title before now. Election for the governor of Edo State is a few weeks from now. Traditional leaders are supposed to be neutral in politics. He can be deposed if Obaseki should eventually be defeated in the coming election. The traditional ruler should learn from the episode between Governor Ganduje of Kano State and the deposed Emir of Kano, Sanusi. Sanusi also okay. Okay, no be only na eight percent. Okay, eighty five percent sure vote for APC here. Ushu Ushu say territory. Okay. So guys, I let us hear your opinion and leave your comments below in the comment section.